following program is made possible by partners and friends of Faith Factor Ministries. Faith Factor. There is faith here. There is life here. There is power here. There is victory here. There is glory here. Prosperity here. Healing, breakthrough, everything of God is present here. When you come in, you know where you are. Hello there. This is Apostle Victor Phillips of Faith Factor Ministries. I'm inviting you to our meeting in Odawa, April the 17th, the 18th, and the 19th at Corner Bay Drive, 1125 Corner Bay Drive at the Cartier University. Prophet Dennis Kramer is coming with me, and you are going to be blessed. Invite your friends, invite your neighbors, invite your families to this great prophetic meeting. It is about your destiny. And I will see you in Odawa again April the 7th, in the 18th, and the 19th. Amen. I touched you, shook your hand. I had a vision of you reaching into your wallet and opening it up, and there's some money in there, and it's enough. The Lord says, Joe has enough. But the Lord would say, Son, I want to take you to the next level of financial prosperity, sit down at the kitchen table with a piece of paper and a pen, and I'm gonna give you a strategy and a plan, and if you follow these steps, says the Lord, I'm gonna take you, Joe, to the next level of financial blessings. I saw the word seer over your head. Get ready to enter into the life of a seer, S-E-E-R. Prophets were first known as seers because of their supernatural ability to see. So get ready to see things in the spirit realm and begin to minister the things that I show you, says. Problems are not your problems. They are generational in uh, their nature. You didn't do anything wrong. You haven't missed the will of God. You are a man like David after my own heart but I'm breaking stress and strain off of you that has built up over the last five years. You're going to begin to have peace, peace, peace. I'm going to remove all the results of stress and strain that come upon you physically, uh, says the Lord. And tonight, I'm breaking all generational spirits off of you, all generational curses off of you, and whom the sun sets free is free indeed. 90% of your spiritual issues were not your fault. These are demons and devils that have attached themselves to your family line for some seven generations. I'm breaking the hold of the enemy off of you. Now you will experience strength and stability, and you will mature in your walk with me uh, says God. Dr. Right. Phillips of Faith Factor Ministries, I am inviting you to a prophetic meeting in Ottawa, Ontario, April the 17th, the 18th, and the 19th. Now, April the 17th is a Friday, so we're starting by 6.30 p.m. Then the Saturday, which is the 18th, is 10.30 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. And then the 19th of April, which is a Sunday, we are there 10.30 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. Prophet Dennis Kramer is coming with me prophetically to minister to the people of the Ottawa area. Where are you living? Where are you watching this program from? Are you in Toronto? Are you in Kingston, Peterborough? Are you in Cornwall, in Montreal, in Quebec City, or even in the Ottawa Valley? You are invited. Bring your family in. This is 2015, and the Lord has promised that this is a great year. But you need a prophetic direction so that you will know what God has for you, what he has for your family. See, see, when you know what you're supposed to do, you begin to do it, and then there will be a manifestation. That is the reason we're inviting you. What are the challenges you are going through? You will be healed. Why? Because Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He he is willing to bless you. He is willing to heal you. He is able to do it. And he has organized this meeting specifically for those of you in the Odawa area. And that is why Prophet Dennis Kramer and I are coming to minister to you again April the 17th, the 18th and the 19th at Carlton University, 1125 Corner by Drive at the Residence Commons. The moment you drive into Carlton University, you just turn left at the Residence Commons. We are going to be the second building. You will see the Residence Commons. We are having the meeting at the second level in that particular property, and you are going to be blessed. I will see you April the 17th, the 18th, and the 19th, live and direct. Apostle Victor Phillips with you in Ottawa, Ontario, and you are going to be blessed. Welcome to Higher Dimension program today. This is Apostle Victor Phillips, and we are going right into a unique teaching which I prepared, and I know it is going to bless you. Why, 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 do I want, why do I want to teach you this? I want to teach you this because I have come to understand in life that if you want to go far in life, you have to go light. In other words, you don't want 
things to be attached to you that ought not to be in your life. That is exactly why you need to understand what I call the optimum life. The optimum life that God has for you, that Jesus purchased for you and I. Now the Bible teaches and says in the book of John chapter 10 and verse number 10, Speaking, he says, the thief has come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus said, I have come to give you life and to give it more abundantly. So the super abundant life is really the life that God has for you and I as the children of God. As a matter of fact, God wants it for every human being on the face of the earth. That is the plan. Because when Jesus died on the cross for the redemption of humanity, he didn't die only for the church or for Christian believers. He died for every human being on the face of the earth. So really, it has become our responsibility to receive this love, this relation, and, and get this relationship established with God. You know, in the book of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 28, the Bible says, Jesus speaking, he said, Come to me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He said, Learn of me. My yoke is easy. It's light. It's easy to bear. And I will give you rest. I call that the open invite. It's made, made it so clear to everyone. Say, come, come, and I will give you rest. So really, the, the sacrifice of Christ on the cross is for the redemption of humanity. Not just for folks going to church, but for every human being. Of course, I know that not everybody has responded to this. That is very true. But it only becomes a reality when you and I will respond to it. Now, the key is this. God has a great plan for your life. I call it the optimum life. Or the super abundant life. That is what he has for you and I. That is the plan of God. But for you to really enter into this, you need to believe in Jesus. Truly, you need to believe in Jesus. That's true. And after that, the real life that he has for you can take root and begin to bear fruit. And when this is going on, like I said from the very beginning, there are certain things you may need to get out of your way, get out of your life. Because they become distractions. To hinder you from your free flow with God. Turn with me quickly to the book of Proverbs. And we are looking at verse 13. Sorry, chapter 13 and verse 20. 30, 20 says, it says, He that walks with a wise man shall be wise. But the companion of fools shall be destroyed. That is a very powerful statement. Because like attracts like. He that walks with the wise shall be wise. But the companion of fools shall be destroyed. In other words, you are to choose the kind of atmosphere that is around you. The kind of people you allow into your atmosphere. The kind of relationship you allow into your life. Because if you choose to be in the company of wise people, then wisdom, and of course the benefit of wisdom, becomes your constant experience, your constant companion. But if you choose not to be in the company of wise people and you are in the company of individuals who may have uh, a negative influence on you, what happens is this. You'll be a constant companionship with wrong manifestations. Now, you may not want to believe this, but this is the truth. The company you keep influences you, whether you know it or not. You may not know how much it does, but this is the truth. If you show me five of your closest friends, I can very easily predict what will be the outcome of your life. Five of your closest friends. Now, if you are in company of individuals who despises the truth, who don't want to obey the word of God, you are very likely to fall into that same category. You begin to find yourself not obeying the word of God. If you're in a group of individuals who may be involved in all kinds of wrong lifestyles, what happens is this, sooner or later you are going to be influenced to make the choice to begin to live the wrong lifestyle. So I've just told you that if you, if you show me five of your closest friends, I can very easily predict what your life outcome will be. That is why, for example, in the world today, it's very rare to find a billionaire who is a friend to a man who has nothing. Billionaires, they have what they call the billionaire clubs. Club, they meet with each other. They interact. They rub off on each other. They share ideas. So what is the potential of a man who has nothing, who is just struggling to pay his bills, to become a friend of a billionaire is very rare. Firstly, you do not frequent the same kind of places. You don't go to the same kind of places. So what are the chances of meeting with such individuals? 
That is the reason that if you want to go far in life, you want to be successful in life as God has planned for you, then you must begin to choose the kind of company you keep. Because if you're in the company of naysayers, you will soon begin to say nay, nay, nay. <laughs> Instead of saying yay, 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 which is yes and no. Let me give you certain things now that will really be a blessing to you. Listen to this. The company you keep counts a lot. What does this mean? Every voice is talking to you. Every word you hear is speaking to you. It, they are either a voice of purpose or a voice of uh, uh, a, 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 vo a voice of error. Every time you pay attention to somebody, every time you hear somebody say something to you, they are saying something that will either promote you, demote you, frustrate you, even destroy you. This is the truth. So every voice that is talking to you is a voice of purpose. But the question is this, what is the purpose of that voice? Is it a progressive one or is it a negative one? Or is it a retrogressive one? Is it a voice of blessing? Or is it a voice of cursing? Is it a voice of promotion? Or is it a voice of demotion? Is it a voice of fear? Or is it a voice of faith? Even in the church environment, I say this to the folks at the church here. Just because you go to church with somebody doesn't necessarily mean that you must have a close companionship with a person. A close relationship with a person. What do I mean? It depends on who they are. They might be going to church. But how... Are they pursuing God? Are they God chasers? Are they pursuing after God passionately? Do they really have love for the word of God, for the things of God? I want to be friends only with people who have a vision of success in their lives. I want to have around me individuals who want to fulfill God's will for their lives and destinies. I don't want around me people who only see impossibilities. All they see is negative. I don't want that. Because if you stay in that company, sooner or later, you are going to begin to see negative only. And if you can begin to see negative only, you will soon begin to talk negative only. And if you begin to talk negative only, I'm sorry, your outcome will be negative only. Because what you see is what you say. And whenever you say it, you are basically placed an order for it to be delivered. So everything you say will come to pass. So therefore, it is absolutely important that you choose the company that you keep. So you must learn, therefore, to distance yourself from things that may be negative, that may have ne negative influence in your life. Sometimes there are even people that may have negative influence on your life. Distance yourself from them. In the Bible, we have the account of a man that is called Joseph. God gave Joseph a dream. God gave Joseph a vision. But his siblings did not believe in him. They even hated him because of the vision that God had given to him. So Joseph was in the wrong company. And because he was in the wrong company, what did they do? They tried to abort his destiny. They hated him. They were envious of him. They tried to kill him. They put him into a well. They brought him back and sold him into slavery. And they went to Egypt as a slave. Why? Not because of what Joseph did, but because of who Joseph was, that the individuals in his company could not accept, could not tolerate. The vision was too huge. The vision was too much for them to accept or to believe. Now, imagine if Joseph had been in the, with a different company of people. At least he wouldn't have suffered hatred. Now, I understand that all things work together for good for those that know the Lord. Yes, that is the reason God used that same situation to bless Joseph. But Joseph had 13 years of pain, 13 years of imprisonment, 13 years of accusation, 13 years of rejection. Yes, at the end of it all, the victory came. I understand that. But what was the point here? The family did not even believe in him. Now, am I advocating separation from friends and families? That's not what I'm saying. What I'm practically saying is this. You choose for yourself individuals who are encouragers, who are people that will bless you and strengthen you and encourage you to be successful, to go forward with God, to fulfill the destiny that God has for you. I'll be right back. Hello there, this is Apostle Victor Phillips of Faith Factor Ministries. I'm inviting you to our meeting in Odawa, April the 17th, the 18th and the 19th at Cornerby Drive, 1125 Cornerby Drive at the Cartoon University. 
Prophet Dennis Kramer is coming with me and you are going to be blessed. Invite your friends, invite your neighbors, invite your family to so this great prophetic meeting. It is about your destiny. And I will see you in Odawa again April the 7th, the 18th and the 19th. Amen. Faith is that inner drive, that motivation, that resilience that helps you to see the big picture in spite of the present opposition. So, see the big picture in spite Hello there, this is Apostle Victor Phillips of Faith Factor Ministries. I'm inviting you to our meeting in Odawa, April the 17th, the 18th and the 19th at Cornerby Drive, 1125 Cornerby Drive at the Cartoon University. Prophet Dennis Kramer is coming with me and you are going to be blessed. Invite your friends, invite your neighbors, invite your family to so this great prophetic meeting. It is about your destiny. And I will see you in Odawa again April the 17th, the 18th and the 19th. Amen. Welcome back. As I was saying to you earlier, to have the optimum life, to live the optimum life or the super abundant life, you may need to discard certain things and maybe even <clears throat> stay away from certain people because they may have a negative influence on you. Certain individuals who don't really want to be successful in life, they don't want to serve God, they don't want to live the super abundant life and they see you desiring and aspiring to live that life, they may misunderstand and misconstrue things. And so sometimes you may have to get, you know, discard some things or maybe even send individuals from your life. However, you also need to put in the right people into your life to be in the right company. And the right company is basically what I call mentors. Individuals who have been where you need to be at. Individuals who have experiences in life or in your chosen field who know what to do. Now, who is a mentor? A mentor basically is a person whose life experiences you want to benefit from. In other words, whatever they have gone through, whatever they have experienced, they take you through it. It might have taken them years to get there, but for you learning from them, from where they are at the moment you met them, it could be a day, it could be a month, it could be three weeks. There are certain things I've come to learn in life today that had I a mentor when I was younger, it wouldn't have taken so much time for me to achieve those things. But I'm grateful to God for what he has done in my life. And I've had to learn a lot of things in life, I've experienced in life, and I'm grateful based on the things that I've gone through in life. Now listen to this. In the book of Psalm 145, and verse number 4, the Bible says, Great is the Lord, and greatly, sorry, uh, verse number four, yes. One generation shall praise your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. In other words, you learn from the previous generation, generation ahead of you, individuals who have been where you want to be. You learn from them. And it says one generation shall praise the mighty works of God to another. That is why today we can reference Abraham in the Bible. We can reference Jacob in the Bible. We can reference David in the Bible. They are, a gen they are generations that were before us. We're learning from their experiences. We're learning from their encounters with God. The things they did that made them successful, we can see it. The things they did that made them not to be so, you know, as successful as they ought to be. We know those things today because that generation went through it and they are teaching us today. So basically what I'm saying is this, you need a mentor in your life. You need a person who will guide you, a person who has had experience in certain things that you need to go through, I mean that you are going through in life right now, to be an encouragement to you. Time and again, I have seen in churches and in different places, you know, they, they, they bring all the singles together, they bring all the divorces together, they bring all the widows together. I have no problem with that. Now let me take the situation of the, of the divorces together uh, uh, first. When you put all the divorce people together into a group or fellowship or a club or whatever you want to call it, there must be a reason why they were divorced. I don't know, I'm not here to criticize why somebody divorced or not, but I'm just saying this. There must be a reason why they were divorced. Now, if you group them all together, what are they going to learn from each other? I would rather that a divorced person becomes a friend to a person who has kept their marriage. So that you can learn from the person's experience on how to maintain a home and, you know, and when God blesses you with an opportunity to be married again, you know what to do. But if you put all individuals who were divorced together, all they will talk about is their experiences that didn't turn out well. So there's really no much to learn from each other. So that is not mentorship. Mentorship, therefore, is putting people in the right place 
For example, I am an apostle. And you have been called to ministry. But you don't know how to go about it. What do you do? If your calling is an apostolic calling, or a prophetic calling, or an evangelistic calling, you connect with a person like me, who has got those calling and gifts in my life, I'll be able to train you, I'll be able to mentor you, you'll learn from what you see me do. So that you may not make the same, uh, go through the same challenges I went through when I was younger. That is mentorship, for I'm giving to you what you need because I have it. If I don't have it, I can't give it to you. And if you need it and you go to a wrong source, then you will never get it. So it is therefore important that you choose who your mentor is. So in life, to live this abundant life I'm talking about, or the optimum life, like I'm talking about, two things. There are certain things and people you may need to separate yourself from. As well, there are certain things and people you may need to attach yourself to. Because every time, friends, voices are speaking. People are speaking. Situations are arising and talking to you. Whether you believe it or not, everything you hear, everything you see, everything you know, become the sum total of your life. So the question now is this. Who has been speaking to your life all these years? What have you, be, what have you believed all this Why? Has it produced the exact result that you had expected, that you had imagined? Are you where you imagine yourself to be at, at this particular age and stage of your life? If the answer is no, then you need to check what you have been listening to. You need to check the company you have kept all this while. You need to check those who have been speaking to you, who have been speaking into your life. Because a man can only give what he has. You can't receive from a person what they do not have. It is like going to a person who is unable to pay his bills, and you're asking the person to give you a million dollars. This individual has never had enough money to pay their bills. How do you think they are going to have access to a million dollars for you? It is impossible. So if you need a million dollars, you go to a millionaire. <laughs> you need a billion dollars, you go to a billionaire. You need a doctor, you go to a doctor. You don't go to uh, a mechanic when you need a doctor. No. So you know where you want to go, then look for the individuals who are already there or who are on their way there and they are ahead of you and let them mentor you and guide you to this divine destiny that God has for you. So for you to be successful in life, you need a mentor. A mentor, therefore, is a person that can put in place, that can put things into your life, their experiences, their knowledge, the grace of God that's upon them. And in this case, the anointing of the Holy Spirit into, their li into your lives and begin just to transform and change you. At our church in Faith Factor Ministries in Niagara Falls, we have individuals who constantly testify to the goodness of God in their lives. As a matter of fact, a brother will testify to me. I mean, my, my music minister will testify to me. He, he said, you said, follow me. You said, do what I do. You said, say what I say. And he has applied and still applying those principles in his marriage. And his marriage is a bliss. Why? I am a good leader. I am a good mentor to imitate. And he is imitating it and he's getting the results. I can go on and on with the testimonies of individuals who are being blessed because of what they are receiving, because of what they are hearing. But who is behind this whole equation? It is God. Who is behind this whole teaching, this whole truth? The Holy Spirit. See, the Holy Spirit knows what you need. He knows what I need. And then he puts us, you know, in his own strategic manner, in positions where we can receive what we need. And so in life, friends, if you want to be successful in life, you need God. You need the Word of God. You need to read the Bible. You need to study the Word of God. Let the Word of God expand you, open, open you up to see the reality of God. Like I said earlier, words are pictures. Every promise of Scripture is a painted portrait of your destiny. It's a painted portrait of God's plans and God's purposes for you. So when you begin to study the Word of God and you receive a true understanding, this portrait is not only painted, but it is open to you. It is released to you. And you just right, dive right into it and the blessing starts. And man, you can't stop it. You can't beat it. So two things in closing right now. The optimum life, the super abundant life, according to John chapter 10, verse number 10, you will need to get rid of certain things and maybe even certain people. And then you replace those things with the right ones and with the right people. 
personally. I don't want to be in the company of, you know, a confused and depressive people. I, I, I want joy in my atmosphere. I want peace in my atmosphere. I want happiness in my atmosphere. I want my atmosphere charged with faith, charged with positivity, not negativity. I want my atmosphere charged with light and not gloominess. No. Because the atmosphere you surrender to is the atmosphere that will determine what you become in life. So choose for yourself friends and individuals that have what it takes to take you to the next dimension in life that God has for you. The optimum life is God's plan for you. The super abundant life is God's will for your life. But you need to do what it takes to receive it. Let's pray. Father, thank you for my friends and partners. I've just spoken to them and told them that you have this optimum life for them, this super abundant life. According to John chapter 10 and verse number 10, that Jesus came to give all the super abundant life. Lord, I ask that their understanding be enlightened, their spirit man empowered, your mind renewed, that you may see, you may know what God has for you, who God is in your life, and begin to live the super abundant life from now on. The higher dimension life is God's plan and God's purpose for you. I love you so much. I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye. Hello there. This is Apostle Victor Phillips of Hit Factor Ministries. I'm inviting you to our meeting in Odawa, April the 17th, the 18th and the 19th at Corner Drive, 1125 Corner by Drive at the Cartoon University. Prophet Dennis Kramer is coming with me and you are going to be blessed. Invite your friends, invite your neighbors, invite your families to this great prophetic meeting. It is about your destiny. I will see you in Odawa again April the 7th, the 18th, and the 19th. Amen. Faith is that inner drive, that motivation, that resilience that helps you to see the big picture in spite of the present opposition. So, see the big picture in spite. Hello there, this is Apostle Victor Phillips of Faith Factor Ministries. I'm inviting you to our meeting in Odawa. April the 17th, the 18th, and the 19th at Corner Bay Drive, 1125 Corner Bay Drive at the Cartoon University. Prophet Dennis Kramer is coming with me, and you are going to be blessed. Invite your friends, invite your neighbors, invite your families to this great prophetic meeting. It is about your destiny. And I will see you in Odawa again April the 17th, the 18th, and the 19th.